Welcome to Real Bass Lessons. Today I thought I'd show you just a little bit of a sort of an old school funk, a real simple kind of groove. And I'm talking about wanting to show you how to create a little bit of phrasing. You saw in that intro I was doing a, just an A minor thing. Sure, there's my five chord. That's what I'm talking about right now. When I'm jamming on one chord, when good players are doing that, they're creating phrasing, and one of the real simple ways is one chord. We're in the A minor. E7, one chord. Maybe twice as long. We're still on the one chord. Here's the five chord. Back to the one chord. Sure, without blatantly hearing the chords, we still imply that. I did it one time by doing this little, uh... Sure, that's an E and it's an augmented. Let me play just a little bit forward with the drum machine here and I'll talk it, okay? Here we go. A minor, one, two, three. playing chord changes even though there may really not be any chord changes in the song. I'm implying a resolution kind of sound and then a tension, which is basically the five chord, back to resolution. Of course, I one little spot I went to A minor to D7 and I was just playing those tenths so you could hear it. I probably wouldn't play that in a bass line so I'd probably just... Sure. It's all built around that pentatonic sound. Let's do it one more time, and I'm not going to talk it here. You see if you can hear where I'm uh, implying those tensions and resolution. there but uh that you get the idea i think let's practice a little exercise okay let's go five chord four five Let's do that drums two a one two three play with me five chord Four, five, five, one, five.
Yeah, got the idea. The point is, is our um, line is creating tension resolution. If we just play up and down the pentatonic over and over without any other sort of implication of we're going someplace or coming back, it can get a little bit boring. Now there's been good bass lines that do that, but in general we want to think about tension, resolution, and that's basically 5-1. Let me play a little bit again without uh, trying to think it too much and let you hear. Two, a one, two, uh. Sure, there I made a whole little progression out of it. Did you hear that? Now again, I'm not trying to teach you how to compose signs. I'm talking about how to just play a good bass line and give it some movement. Hope this makes sense to you, okay? Let's practice one more time. Get your bass and play with me. If you're not playing exactly the same notes, just get in the right uh, groove with me and move to the right chords. Here comes a one chord, that A minor. One, two, three. Five chord. your little drum machine just like I did there and create tension resolution phrasing. Now that I brought this to your attention to you'll probably hear it in a bunch of songs. Guys who are jamming away again they tend not to just sit on the one chord they're implying other chords to create phrasing. Cool, fired up. <laughs>